Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and today I'm making another video for another order. This time it's for a returning customer and if you remember the white topper that I made that initially we thought that it was a very good human hair and eventually we ended up uh, resorting into thinking that this is animal hair. Well, the same customer went ahead and she realized that the hair didn't really worth so much. So she just made sure that she's gonna get real human hair this time and I have it in this box. So yeah, from first glance, it already looks more human than the previous one. Let me just see, oh wow. Okay, that does look like human hair much more. It looks like the, the strands, the pattern, the curl and everything. Let me just see this one as well. Oops. Um, they don't seem to be from the same person. Like, I don't know. This is wider than that. Um, do I blend these two? Uh, I don't remember exactly what we said, but I think this hair is... Yeah, this is silkier and whiter than that. It's not the same. It's not the same person, obviously, because this is a ponytail haircut. I think this one is a little better than that, so I think I'm gonna use this because it's it's gonna be enough for the topper. So I don't think I need to use this one. And at the same time, uh, it doesn't look as good in quality as this one. And also, um, I. Th think that the strands might be a little thicker on this one. Yeah, this is definitely silkier. I can just tell by the way. Look at that. The woman that grows hair like that is so blessed. So I, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to put it back in the little box over here. And I'm going to work with this exclusively. This is enough hair for like, it's not enough for a wig but it's enough to make a definitely a topper and this time we're gonna make a slightly bigger topper than the previous time i have her measurements i'm gonna go through all that later so what i need to do now is the first thing is to discard all the short strands i keep saying it every time that there are so many short strands in here that i couldn't possibly use so i have to do something i'm gonna have to braid it first let me just see if i can clamp it like this all right the reason why i'm gonna braid this is because it's gonna be so much easier for me to um to work later with what i want to do yeah it's a little more all right i'm gonna make it rather dense And this is a thick ponytail, so beautiful. What kind of human grows hair like that and then cuts it off? At what price do you do that? We're happy that my customer got it, of course. I'm just saying. Now, I'm going to use some elastic rubber bands and I'm actually I'm gonna discard anything shorter than that. I have already said this many times that um, the really short hair is practically useless for anything, so I'm just gonna discard it. So now what I have to do is get a bag, because it will get messy. Take this out. And I'm just discarding this hair, as you can see over here. So I'm gonna put a brush in here. I'm gonna use my big paddle brush. I'm gonna clean this hair from the short strands and then I'm gonna come back to you to show you the next step. Look at that. Really short strands, useless.
So, the base is ready, it's semi-ready. I will again just ventilate everywhere and then I'm gonna flip this in and then I'm gonna stitch it. I don't wanna stitch on two layers because I, I hate it. So I didn't really need to cut this off, I just forgot and did this, but it's okay because it's plentiful. And I have removed the center uh, thread. Yeah, now I'm ready to ventilate. I'm gonna show you the final result when I finish the ventilation, she said that she wanted to have a rather light density and the front needs to be slightly lighter so as to blend in with her own hair. Alright, it's over. And of course, it's not uh, just ready to be shipped because I need to make the folds in the perimeter. And I made the front um, a little feathered because she requested it like that. And I just finished everything, the clips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clips. The two in the front are the small ones. Now the front is a little feathered and I really hope that she will be, able, she requested it like that and I hope she will be able to conceal that. Uh, once I take the braids out, it's going to be, um, she will be able to fluff it a little bit. It's too, uh, too you know, kept right now and it might seem like too thin, but this is exactly what she, how she wants this to be. And I, I decided to do something. <clears throat> so this is not something that I have ever done before or thought it would be working like that. But I'm gonna give her this ribbon. And what I've done is that I have actually cut along this curve over here and this curve over here. And I did exactly the same thing on the other side, as you can see. These things are just cut. And what I can do now is I'm going to open this clip. Push this through, through these two teeth over here. And then this again. So this can still close, but it can be attached like that. Um, and then the other side is going to be like, let me just see if I don't need to cut that at all. Maybe I shouldn't have to cut it. Oh well, what do you know? I didn't have to. No, I think it works better if I have it cut like that. You can still put it in. Ugh, it's just easier like that to work. Yep. And now I can close like that and it doesn't interfere. And this can be worn on her head if she's able to use it like that. I don't know because this thing in the front might flap up a little bit so she can use it. Yeah, and the elastic is a little too big so she might have to cut it down. Hold on. Okay, it just slips back now. <laughs> I'm so graceful doing those things like literally. Like so. And it should have a tension. If she thinks that this, um, and she's gonna clip it all over as well, just that the front is gonna have this tension over here. Let me just, let me just keep it tension intentionally. Like so. You can see how this is just clinging to her head better. Of course, she's gonna have hair and she's gonna have everything clipped. So there's no way this is gonna go anywhere and there's no way the front's gonna flap up, flip or do whatever the hell because of the elastic. I'm gonna send her an additional piece of ribbon just in case she needs that. And yeah, pretty much I think this is it. This is it. Um, should I take the braids out? No, I'm not gonna take them out. Or should I just to show you? <laughs> All right, I just mildly curled the hair. Uh, because she has curly hair and she wanted to see if this is gonna hold the curl. It does hold the curl and I plan to send it like that. I'm gonna just pack it like this. And then I'm gonna just put it on a bag and it will probably just keep the, the, the shape like that. So yeah, um, that's it. Thanks for watching and ask me anything you want.